Hello guys, welcome back to our lectures. In this lecture, we're gonna continue our uh, discussion about uh, arithmetic uh, in MIPS uh, computers or processors. Last time we discussed multipliers. Today we're gonna discuss division. So division is uh, is more complex circuits than you know the multipliers. Really, uh, you know, a uh, little bit difficult to handle and design. But step by step in three videos, we're gonna start by how division work, then as a basic multiplier circuit, then in the third video, we're gonna see an improved version of this multiplier circuit. So let's first understand how uh, multiplier, uh, or how we, I'm sorry, how we do division basically in, in binary. Basically how to do long division. So any uh, division operation like seven, divided by 2 this will give us a quotient and a remainder so basically how many 2's in a 7 there are 3 2's because 3 times 2 is 6 so there are uh, 3 2's and a remainder of 1 okay that's basically uh, you know and you can you can write it in that way 3 and half there are 3 and half 2's in 7 Okay, so basically this is the quotient, and the one here is the remainder. Okay, this is basically in decimal. How to do that in binary? We do that in binary using the long division. So, we have two parts. The, uh, so basically, the two here is called the divisor. The seven is called the dividend. Okay, so we put the divisor here, which is 1, 0. 2 is 1, 0 in binary. And the dividend, we put it here, which is 3 ones. Okay, then how we can do the, you know, the division, the long division? So basically, we start bit by bit. Uh, and we ask the same question each, each time. Can 1, 0 goes into 1? Or how many 2s in 1? Of course, there is no 2s in 1. In one. Okay. Then we go and extend it to another bit. How many uh, twos, one zero, in one one? How many two in three? There are one, two in a three. So we put the one here. Then we multiply the one by one zero, which will give us one zero. Remember the location of the result? It is, a, it is under, you know, the most significant two bits. Then we do a subtraction. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Then we take this down, the third bit, and we put it here. And we do the same again. How many 2's in 3? Or how many 2 in 3? There, also, there is also 1. Then we multiply. You can put here 0. That's okay. Then we subtract. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Since uh, there is no digits left, we stop. So, where is the question to where is the remainder? Here is the remainder. And here is the question. Which is 3, as we expected. Let's have another example. Let's take another color. Like 6 divided by 2, which is basically 3 and the remainder of 0. So the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 0. So 2 is again 1, 0. 6 is 1, 1, 0. Same steps. How many 2 in 1? There is no 2 in 1. 2 doesn't go into 1. How many 2 in 3? 2 bits now. Or does 2 goes into 3? Yes. There are 1, 2 in the 3. 1 multiplied by 1, 0 will give us 1, 0. We do subtraction. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. We bring this down. So now 1, 0, 1, 0. How many 2's in 1, 0? How many 2 in 2's? It is 1. Then we multiply. 
this will give us one zero zero minus zero is zero one minus one is zero and we stop so the remainder is zero as we expected and the quotient is uh, three as expected as let's take uh, you know more complicated example or longer example we can say 74 divided by 8 we know that uh, 9 times 7 is 72 so we are expecting that this will be a result in a quotient of 9 and the remainder of 2 because 9 times uh, 8 is 72 there, is, there will be 2 left which will be the remainder okay how to write uh, the 8 it is uh, 1 0 0 0 how to write 74 it is 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 and we do the same steps again can 1 0 0 0 which is 8 goes into 1 no can 8 goes into 2 no can 8 goes into 4? 1, 0, 0, 4. No, of course. Also, no. Can 8, which is 1, 0, 0, 0, goes into 1, 0, 0, 1, which is 9? Yes, there is 1, 8 in the 9. So we're going to put 1 here and we multiply. We do the subtraction. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. We take this bit, we bring it down. Can 8 goes into uh, 2? No. So what we did, what we do in that case, we bring another digit down, another bit down, and we put 0 here. And we repeat the process. Can 8 goes into 101, which is... Uh, five no again so what we do is we bring down another bit which is the last bit now and we put zero again here now we repeat the process can eight goes into this number which is uh, ten yes there is one eight in the ten so we're gonna put one here and we multiply zero minus zero is zero one minus zero is one zero minus zero is zero one minus one is zero since we finish here we stop so basically this is the quotient 9 as we expected and here is the remainder which is 2 as we expected the final example the fourth example 44 divided by 3 uh, 3 times 14 is actually uh, 42 so we are expecting uh, that this will give us a quotient of 14 and a remainder of, of 2 and remember 3 multiplied by 15 is is 45 you know that that's uh, to close it down for you guys okay what is how to do how to make this in, in binary let's do it so the three is one one the 44 is one zero one one zero zero we repeat the same process can one one which is three goes into one no can it goes into two no can it goes into one zero one which is five yes there is one three in the five and we multiply and we put zero here one minus one is zero zero minus one uh, can't happen so we're gonna borrow one from here so this this is gonna be zero this is gonna be two two minus one is one or if you want to be very formal you know you can write it as uh, this zero here can be uh, will, will be one zero which is two you know so still the result is correct and zero minus zero is zero before we continue, we bring this down and we do the process. Does 1-1 one, one goes into 1-0-1? One, one? Yes, because 1-1 one, one is 3 and 1-0-1 one, one, one is 5. So we put 1 here and we multiply. 
can put zero and zero that's fine one minus one is zero zero minus one can't happen so we're gonna borrow one from here so this is gonna be zero this is gonna be two or one zero whatever you like both are the same two minus one is one and zeros before we continue we bring this down and again the same process does one one goes into one zero one which is um, uh four to the power of zero to the power of one to the power of two yes so basically uh one one which is three goes into four there is one three in the four we multiply again you can put zeros let's subtract now so uh, we can't we can't borrow from that one so we're gonna so this guy first we're gonna gonna borrow this so this will be zero this is gonna be two the, the middle zero but then since we're gonna borrow from it it will become one and the last digit here or the last bit the original borrowing of it will become two two minus one is one one minus one is zero and is in zeros we bring down the last bit which is zero we do the same process can one one goes into one zero doesn't go so we're gonna put zero here and we stop because there is no bit left in the dividend so that's basically the quotient 14 as we expected and that's basically the remainder uh, two as expected okay guys that's a review or how to make division in the next video we're gonna start by making some uh, you know uh, uh, some remarks about this operation and how we can devise an algorithm that can be limited in hardware in order to implement a circuit to do the division thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye